What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make an intro with Cinema 4D and After Effects in 2020. If this video helps you out, please make sure to drop a like. With all that said, let's jump right into this video. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go head over to YouTube, and you guys want to type in Cinema 4D and After Effects intros. After Effects intros. Oops. And go ahead and click enter. Now, I will leave a link in the description to this guy's channel. His name is Zombie FX, I believe. His intros are very nice and they're all Cinema 4D and After Effects. So, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel if you guys want to use one of his templates. Now, I've already found an intro that I'm going to be using for this tutorial, and that is, I believe it's the, his 13th intro, which is right here. So this is the one I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So once you find an intro you like, go ahead and go to the description and there will be a download link. Go ahead and click on the download link. And then go ahead and click go to download page. Wait 10 seconds then click I am not a robot and then go ahead and create download link and that will start to download the intro. Now I already have it downloaded so it is right here. So I'm just gonna click on that. And by the way guys, you will need WinRAR for this tutorial. I will leave a link in the description on how you guys can get WinRAR. So once this has opened up, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click how to edit information if there is that. I know every intro is going to be different, so you should have this notepad on all the information that you guys need to edit the intro. So this should include all the plugins and the font they used in the uh, intro. So you guys can see the, uh, the uh, plugins that are needed are these. And by the way guys, I have a tutorial on how to get Sapphire plugins for After Effects. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description as well on how you guys can get that. Once you guys have all the plugins that you need for the intro, go ahead and go to Cinema 4D. And then double click on the uh, Cinema 4D file. Alright guys, so once the intro has opened, what you guys again want to do is go ahead and see this lib 40 file what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead and go to content browser go to presets and right here you want to drag the lib 40 file into here so go ahead and just drag that in all right so once that is in go ahead and just drag these materials and replace them so just drag the grunge one on the grunge run and drag the this one on the other grunge one and as you guys can see, it will replace the materials, and now the materials should be working for the intro. So you guys can go ahead and just minimize this, and go back into Cinema 40. So once you guys are here, go ahead, go to Objects, and then the text is always going to be different. So for this one, it is split up into two different parts. The uh, right part is, alright, so name, so this is going to be the right part, ME, so... Um, I'm just gonna change this to text and if you guys have a like let's say a name that has five letters you're gonna have to do two in one of them and three in the other if you guys have an intro that is split up like this so for me I'm just gonna do text so XT for this one I'm using all caps by the way and I'm also gonna change the font to blow rush okay. and do the same thing XT um, low brush, and then that is the right part, and then go to the left part, and then do TE so it spells out text. Okay, now it should be working. I should be able to play this. Now, I do not hear audio, I'm not sure if you guys do. But yeah, so this is pretty much the Cinema 40 part. Now, what you guys can do after this is done, go ahead and click this little button right here. 
uh, make sure uh, that this is on all frames. If it is not on all frames, then it will not render the entire intro. Now go ahead and go ahead and click save. And then basically uh, go to your desktop uh, or go to this PC. Actually go to the desktop right here. Right click um, and just make a folder and name it render or intro render like that and then go ahead and s double click uh, this folder here name it whatever you want so I'm just gonna write intro tutorial all right go ahead and click save now basically this will save the intro to this folder now this will render frame by frame so you're gonna have like uh, 684 pictures um, this is gonna take a very long time to render. Uh, it's gonna take hours. Now, I'm not going to render this intro out because I don't have that time. So what I am gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be basically doing the After Effects part with a different intro, but all the steps should work the same. So I'm actually not going to save this and I will open up After Effects. All right, so once Cinema 40 has finished rendering, go ahead and double click on the After Effects folder and double click on After Effects. This will just open the intro and After Effects. Alright, so once you open it, it may say something about the uh, file has been changed. Just go ahead and click OK. And I'll also say, it, yeah, it says uh, three files are missing. Just go ahead and click OK. And you guys also might get another pop-up that says you guys are missing some of the plugins that are needed for the intro. Basically, it will just tell you what plugins you guys are missing. So go ahead and uh, just download the plugins that that you are missing and it should all work. All right, so when, once After Effects has loaded, go ahead and put this to quarter to reduce lag and then just turn all the layers off except for the, um, the render. So everything except for the uh, th this render the PNG. Okay. Now you should see nothing. Yeah. So what you guys need to do is go ahead and go to the particles right here, and you guys should see nothing here. It it should either be black or if you click on this, it should just come up with this. Don't worry. What you guys need to do is you guys need to actually go ahead and just drag the uh, the After Effects, um, the After Effects, and the song onto your desktop here. So once you have done that, you guys can go back into After Effects and go ahead, click on the particles, replace the footage, and go to File. And then go ahead, go to desktop, go to AE, and double click on particles, or replace them. Now, it looks like nothing happened, but that's because we had the particles turned off. Now, go ahead, do the same thing with the, uh, the song here. So again, right click, replace footage, go to file, go to the, the song, which song right here, double click on that. And then go ahead now like I said I didn't render the intro out so I can't really replace it but what you guys do want to do is go ahead and click on the uh, render PNG this one the PNG sequence one go to replace footage go to file and basically double click on render where you saved the your render now obviously I didn't render it out so there's nothing in here but what you guys should have is I will do it with my old intro. Go ahead and double click on the render. It should look like this, but this is my old intro, so it's gonna be different. Um, basically just uh, click on the top one and hit Control A. I'll select them all. Go ahead and just check PNG sequence. Go ahead and click import. Now this is probably gonna be, yeah. So as you can see, it uh, it put the intro in there, but this is a different intro. Um, 
Um, it's going to be all messed up because, um, yeah, it's not going to be synced or anything. Basically, it's just not going to be synced or anything because um, this is a different intro um, that is synced differently with a different song. So basically, once you have your text in there, again, yours should be all fine. You should sync and everything. All right, guys, sorry I'm editing this, and I forgot to mention that you guys have to turn all the layers back on, the ones that you turned off previously. Just turn them all back on and continue with the video. Go ahead and go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And then go ahead and just um, click output to and save it to your desktop and just type in whatever you want. So I'm just going to go enter tutorial, um, click save, and then go ahead and click render. It'll start to render. And once that is done, you guys have your intro. So. That is pretty much it for the video guys, thanks for watching, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video guys, peace.